OK. Now it's time to add some more screens to our app. So far, we have one list screen that shows a list of objects when we run the application. Now we'd like to make it so that when we click on a cell, we can see more details about the item that's in that cell. We'd also like to be able to navigate back and forth between our list and our detail cell. So to start that process, we'll use some things that we have access to inside of our main.storyboard. I'm in the main.storyboard here, and I'm going to click on the bird list view controller. I can do that in the document outline over here on the left. I can also do it on the storyboard itself by selecting in this bar right above the screen the yellow circle on the left. Now I'm going to come down to the lower right hand corner and click on the rectangle with the arrow in it. I receive a drop down that allows me to embed this view in a navigation controller or a tab bar controller. I'll select embed in navigation controller. A navigation controller manages other view controllers in iOS much in the same way that a stack view manages other views. Specifically, the navigation controller will possess a stack of view controllers from which you can push on new view controllers and pop off view controllers in order to allow users to navigate through a hierarchy of views. You'll notice now that we've embedded in a navigation view controller that our initial view controller is no longer our list view. Instead, our app opens on our navigation controller, which has an arrow to the list view. This arrow represents a transition that we call a segue in iOS. We'll talk more about segues in a second. So the next thing we're going to do is add a view controller for our detail view. We click in the upper right hand corner on the object library or hit command shift L. Now I'm going to search for view controller in here. I just want a plain view controller. I click and drag that onto my screen. I should have a blank view controller now to the right of my list view. Let me move that just a little bit this way. Now I'm going to hold down the control key and drag between my cell and my new view controller. The whole thing should light up blue. When I let go, I'll receive a drop down that allows me to select the kind of segue that I want to create. A segue transition us, transitions us between one view controller and another in iOS. And there are a couple of different ways that it can work. The first option here, called Show, pushes a new view controller onto the navigation controller stack so we can navigate back and forth. Show Detail works similarly, except that instead of pushing a new view controller onto a stack, it replaces the previous view controller. So if we choose Show Detail, the user can't navigate back and forth. We also have Present Modally, which would allow us to present a view controller over the entirety of another view controller as a separate view, perhaps with a shadow differentiating it from the background. And then there's present as popover, which allows us also to cover partly or all of the previous view controller screen, but anchored to a specific view. You might use this to implement, say, a tooltip in iOS. We're going to choose show. And now our segue appears. If we click on our segue, we can edit it in the Attributes Inspector. You see here at the bottom of the Attributes Inspector a drop-down for Kind, where we could change the kind of segue we had created. Now let's run our application and see what we've got. All right, so we have our list here. And then when we click on a cell, we get to this detail view controller. We can click back to navigate back. There's one more change I'd like to make here, which is to, um, to customize the navigation bar a little bit. I can customize my entire navigation bar by coming down to navigation controller scene in my document outline and clicking on the navigation bar. I can also decide how I would like the navigation bar to look on each individual screen. You'll notice that each screen has this navigation item in the document outline. And there are attributes over on the right side when I select one. So if I set the title to Angry Birds for my list view controller, we'll see that that title comes up in my navigation bar. 
Now, if I were to run this app again, I should see that title come up. Beautiful. Now, when we click on a cell, our navigation shows that we're going back to the view controller whose navigation item is entitled Angry Birds.